Time lapse over the last several hours features showers and storms more so was contained to southwestern Pennsylvania through Allegheny County up into Beaver. Ongoing flash flood warning for or portions of Armstrong, Allegheny, Butler and Beaver. The latest whenever it comes into our region. Well, just issued moments ago a severe thunderstorm warning that extends up into Jefferson, Hancock, Northern Borough County. Didn't have enough time to zoom into the cell itself or to get any of the data. Uh, we were just coming back right from commercial break, but I'll get you some updated information during our final look at your forecast. But still extending the zoom out across Northern Ohio. Light rain towards I-71. It's this batch of rain that's moving into a untapped environment with showers and storms likely to strengthen and we are experiencing that right now, especially with that upgrade to a severe thunderstorm warning. And I think this is more so if I'm just looking at the trajectory, I would expect that to continue on through about 645, at least with that warning. Big picture showers and storms from I-80 down closer towards I-77. And this will continue to make its way down into eastern Ohio and the northern Panhandle further through it. Widespread rainfall. Not necessarily the trend for right now, but here's how predictor plays this out. And again, normally I do this back end. Wanted to bring this up to the forefront, at least to time things out. Moderate to heavy rainfall can't be ruled out moving forward across the board. We go through a brief lull in action, then areas of showers and storms through western Ohio move east and impact us as we begin the day on Wednesday. The chance for scattered showers pretty much wraps up closer to lunchtime as we step forward into our Wednesday. We stick around with prominent cloud coverage that will impact our temperatures. But as we move forward into our Thursday, we finally start to clear out those skies and allow just a bit more of that bright yellow orb. Now the question is how much rain can we expect to see at least moving through the day on Saturday? There has been a shift with precipitation west of the original areas of I-79 and the Appalachian Mountains. This now encompasses the northern panhandle, very tight gradient whenever it comes into potential precip. I'm still going to hold within that half inch upwards to an inch through the day on Saturday. That includes the rain that we experience for our day today. Further again as we head into Wednesday and Friday. One variable we all dealt with today is the heat. It's still high heat and mugginess. There is a lot of heat and a lot of mugginess within the Ohio River Valley, and that's what's going to fuel any storms that are already starting to fire up across our region. And we'll continue to see the 80s, at least whenever it comes into our temperatures moving forward. Low 80s for our Wednesday, more so due to the cloud coverage. We mix in a few rays of sun come Thursday, so that's why our temperatures warm back up in the mid to upper 80s. Friday and Saturday, a cooler air mass does arrive. And it's much needed, especially after this prolonged period of mugginess. Uh, you tired of me saying that the stickiness is sticking around or the mugginess is sticking around? Well, I am too. At least we have that to look forward to in through our weekend. Temperatures again in the period remain in the mid to low 80s. Scattered showers and storms on Friday. Mixing in sun and clouds as we head into the weekend. Low 80s through Monday. Middle 80s mixing in sun and clouds on Tuesday.